Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to the tooflage.com. And today I would be doing the second video on creating bar graphs in PHP. So if you guys will come out here, this is what I showed you guys last time. And uh, there was a very little bug I told you that every time we have to refresh the page, but uh, that's not the case right now. So if I'll change anything for the technical team, I said 30, achieved 80, generate, it's manipulating the graph right away. So we don't have to refresh it again and again. So without wasting any time, let's move forward towards the code. <clears throat> guys, uh, I have done everything on the same page, but if you guys want, you can do it in a uh, neat and a clean way with a different CSS file. But uh, let me show you guys the HTML code first. In the HTML, I have a dev ID main wrapper that would be the entire dev for the page. And uh, after that, I have a dev ID graph. And uh, inside that, I'm using a form with a method of post and uh, the action of the form, form would be index.php and after that I have tables and inside that table I have created that little form if you see out here that says graph name target achieved everything is inside a table if you guys won't prefer using table you can do it with devs the way you want to style it all depends upon you so I have a uh, select and the option value on the top which says sales, technical or finance. So a person can select from out here. And then there is an input type text with the name of target. That would be this particular field. And after that I have how much they have achieved. And the very last there will submit button that is going to submit the entire form and the value of generate which comes right out here. So anything that will happen here will go ahead and change our stats at the back end in our uh, database. <clears throat> so let me show you very first the database that I have created. So local host, PHP, my admin. Inside it, I have a database called graphs. Here is the one. Um, a table called chats. So I have only three fields that is ID, name, and height. The ID is primary key and auto incremented. Uh, the name would be work car of some data, it's not even sure, and the height would be an integer as well. So these three things the height and the beginning would be uh, 200, then later it depends upon the way you will generate your graph, it will keep on manipulating it. So guys, uh, let me do one thing. Let me drop this particular table and create it once again. Okay, so I dropped it. I'm going to create it again called charts with the uh, three fields, I believe. So there would be an ID, name, and a height. Okay, the ID would be integer. Let's make it a primary and auto increment. The name would be work chart with the say hundreds uh, fine for us the height would be an integer and uh, that would be integer I'm gonna save it and uh, very first we will have to prefill some values in order to show our graph with hundred course in everything so I will say insert here it says okay. the height would be say 200 and then I have technical. The height would be 200 for technical as well. And one more entry we need that would be for finance. Finance 200, save this one. So this is at 100 person, right? If the person is achieving 100 person, the height would be 200. If they are achieving 50 person, the height would be 100. So the height would be the double of the percentage they are getting. So if I come back, everything will be on top. Just see, everything is on 100% out here. So just move towards our PHP code. On the top here, what I did, I have created a connection with my database. And then I'm just throwing an if statement. If it said dollar post submit, if the person is hitting a submit button, then go ahead and perform these functions only out here. 
So if the person is hitting a submit button, get the name. The name would be this particular field, the select field. Then the target given to them, then achieved, how much they have achieved. And then I'm calculating the height depending upon these two values. So let's say uh, they achieved 10 into 100 divided by the target was 20 okay so if you will calculate percentage out of it it would be 10 into 100,000 divided by 20 would be 50 so the 50 is our actual percentage into 2 that would be 100 would be our height so the height will always be double of uh, what is the percentage they are achieving okay uh, let's say let me remove this too and see how bad they will look. Okay, not here actually because I'm not calculating anything. Let's change the height here manually. Okay, I'm going to say 100 height. So right now it's 100 portion and height is really low. It's not even looking good. That is the reason I'm doing the height double of the percentage. So if they're achieving 100%, the height would be 200. If they achieve 100, the height would be uh, 200. If they achieve 50, then the height would be 100. So very simple calculation out here. And then I'm saying if the name is empty, that means they are not making any selection and hitting, hitting enter. Then we don't want to do anything. Guys, you can also do it for the target and achieve. It's only for the testing purposes. That's why I haven't made any validation out here. If you want, you can do R empty, you know, dollar target like that. Okay, you can do it. If uh, that is not empty, then just go ahead and update the charts field. Set the height equal to dollar right, where name equal to dollar name. So if the name is sales only. Uh, you know change the height for that if the name is equal to technical then only change the height to that if the name is equal to finance then change the height for finance that is this where statement do for us so once everything has been submit now we want to pull the records out here so I'm saying dollar fetch get everything from the charts table and start running this wild statement okay First, I'm um, going out a table just to nest it really properly out here. So I'm going to echo a table. Then I'm saying uh, wild statement, get all the results. Okay, so the name would be equal to dollar row name. The height of one would be equal to dollar row height. That would be equal to this one. This height one is equal to this height. Okay, if I've changed out here, let's say for finance. 100 they achieve 60 one generator repel it's on 60 right now so this height one would be equal to this one okay then I'm going to put everything inside a variable called dollar output so the dollar output would be equal to I'm starting a TD then a li then the dollar name you know guys I'm using the table because tables are really good in terms of nesting everything so I'm saying if the table if the name is equal to technical then it give it give it a different color if the name is equal to finance then give it a different color if the name is equal to uh, else like not technical not finance that means sales then give it a different color okay so bar 1 is a different color, bar 4 is a different color, and bar 2 is a different color, and they all are images. So everything is coming under this dollar output, and in the last, I'm just checking out this dollar output. And here in index.php file, I have some styling as well that is really important. So this entire div this one will have a width of 400 pixels and a margin of auto I just want to center it out okay so it will look good because I don't have anything else on the page that is the reason I'm centering I this one out then every li that is this they all are the list items 
if you guys notice out here see they all are the list items the images are the list items so they all are the list items I want those list items to be inline block and the list child would be none outside none otherwise they will show those ugly bullets the margin right if you will see there is a margin would be 12 pixels and the font size would be 12 pixels as well then I'm saying LIS the LI within ID of S let me check out this one where we have all of our names so this sales this technical this finds they all are under the LI ID of S let me show you guys from here I this is LIS and that is this particular sales one and the technical world one is LIS and the finance also LIS so LI with an ID of S give that a margin of zero a mass transform guys this is CSS3 and I'm rotating it to 90 degree if you guys will see out here if I'll take it off it will come and be ugly way just see it's coming like this sales technical finance looking really really bad that is the reason we are using the mass transform and the web kit to make them on 90 degree angle and then giving them some margin top and a font size and finally a margin left of eight so if I want I can take it off I can keep it together not in a different way so this is all for the styling the PHP is working its own, own way right here on the bottom it's fetching the results on, on the top it's submitting the results I believe that's all and then I have these three images up here bar 1 bar 3 bar 4 okay guys if you have any questions please go ahead and ask me and if you really like it also let me know so that I can you know move forward I can add Ajax and jQuery to it to make it look really really fantastic so till that time goodbye